Hey everybody, it's Allie, and this is part two of my YNR chat audio blog for Sunday, August. August. See, this is why I'm doing an audio blog today, because I'm out of it. It's December. It's freezing and windy and cold, and I'm feeling under the weather, and that's why I'm doing an audio blog. <sighs> August. I wish it was August. Um, it's December 12th. Now, speaking of Chloe and Kevin and all that, um, the Christmas tree photo shoot was very cute and very creative. Um, cannot believe that Jana called CPS. I mean, for inappropriate photos? I mean, that was so random and so weird. Jana has really, really lost her mind. She looks fantastic lately, um, I have to say. Her outfits are just dead on, um, and her hair is really cute, and she just, she's a really beautiful woman. Um, and she's been looking really good lately, but really, she's, 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 she's losing it. I mean, if Jana were a little bit more aggressive about the craziness, it would almost come off a little better for me, but instead it just seems off. It's so, she's, she's on for the most part, but then there, you just see these little clues that her personality is completely off, like calling the CPS, that is so random. Like, if it were targeted, if she were, if I could sense that she really had, you know, a great plan, then I think um, maybe I could support it a little bit more. But, I mean, now she's decided that she wants to raise Daisy's baby, and that's her plan to get back with Kevin? It's just so weird. I mean, really, can anybody else possibly step up to raise this child? I mean, really, they should have a raffle in Genoa City to see who's going to raise this child. Um, the, the judge just decided that it was cool if Daisy goes and stays with Daniel's house instead of the agreed-upon arrangement. Whatevs! Phyllis just places a phone call and Daisy gets to switch her, her home. And, and people get to come in and out of the apartments as, as they please. There's no big deal. I, it's just that's so unrealistic. Um, the, but I still really like Daisy. I know that's... it's. I'm starting to become more at peace with the whole um, Daisy situation. It was, it had me really up in arms last week and for the last several weeks, but now I'm starting to come to terms with it a little more because the actress just, I don't know, she just brings something different. I like her. I don't know why, but I just like her. Um, and she just is causing so much drama in the right, in the right way for me right now. Um, we had an awesome fight between Kevin and Daniel <laughs> this week. That has to, that, honestly, even I felt like that kind of overshadowed the, the chocolate fight. The chocolate fight was awesome, but Kevin and Daniel, just Daniel just whap, you know, just hauled off and hit Kevin and it just felt good. <laughs> For some reason, I enjoyed that. Um, now, that brings me to, we need to talk about Kevin. I have, in the past, been resistant to the idea of Kevin and Chloe as a couple because I really like uh, Kevin and Chloe as friends and there's a part of me that is afraid <laughs> that if they decide to become a couple then we won't have the friendship anymore and um, gee I don't know if that says anything about my personality or my experience but you know I, I just really didn't I didn't, didn't want to lose that but um, even Catherine is in there pushing full force for the relationship. It's kind of coming out. I mean, it was latent for several months, and now it's starting to come out that maybe they actually are starting to develop feelings for each other. And in the past, I was like, no. But now I just kind of feel like... If I had the choice, I would keep Kevin and Chloe as friends. But since we're clearly moving in that direction, I think we all just might as well get in the boat and enjoy the ride. I mean, really, what else can we do? They're, they are a cute couple. I, I mean, we all thought that maybe Chloe and Ronan, but clearly that's not going to happen. Ronan has been saddled with Heather, and now 
this hereditary disease that he's got, um, which one of you guys actually mentioned to me brilliantly that what this is is probably a window to bring Chance back onto the show. Um, so Ronan's sick and perhaps he needs a bone marrow or transplant or a blood transfusion or something, and Chance, being his own brother, is the only one that can give it to him. Um, that's probably the direction that they're going. Um, I'd say that's a really good guess. And... I'm just not into it. Got to be honest with you. If I, if if they would have paired Rowan Ronan with Chloe, I could have done it. I would have been in for it. And, and as much as I want to like Ron, Ronan right now, I'm, I'm telling you, I I don't even feel like commenting on him. As I'm watching their scenes, I'm just like, meh. You know, I mean, if if I, it just Heather Chance Ronan, the whole cop thing, it just doesn't do anything for me. I don't know. That's just me. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know Ronan has a lot of fans, but I just, I'm having a hard time. Um, but I, I do, uh, on the other hand, I mean, they're kind of making us want Kevin and Chloe, and I'm, I'm ready to, I'm ready to go along with it. Um, I really love Kevin's mob friend, the guy. I, I know he's like a famous actor. I'm sure, um, you guys know his name, but I don't. But the mob guy, um, uh, he's just cute. I love it that he comes in and sticks up for Kevin and, yeah, and, and, uh, he punched Jeff this week. Gosh, everybody got punched this week in Genoa City. If anybody made it out alive, they were lucky. Um, uh, but I really like that guy and I kind of think that we should try to hook him up with somebody in Genoa City. Who should it be? We need to keep him on the show. We need to give him a girlfriend. He was flirting a little bit with Gloria this week, but I was thinking, I don't know. Why don't we hook that guy up with Jill? Then again, Jill might have a new love interest. Uh, <laughs> a new love interest. In the 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 new Aussie male in Genoa City. Jill, Jill just gloms on to any guy. <laughs> Any guy with silver in his hair, and Jill just 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 gloms onto him. They're sitting there at Glowworm this week, and she's spilling her guts about the family secrets, kinda. You know, the stuff having to do with Kane to this uh, mob guy. Um, I think personally, I think Jill was just hoping that it might turn into her getting some, <laughs> and so she's talking to this guy. But it turns out that uh, old mob guy is Kane's real dad. What do you know? And he's a, he's a, he's a former government official, and now he's with the mob, which is so true to life, right? I mean, government mob, mob government, what's the difference? It's a revolving door. Um, but I'm really hopeful about this. I they're, I mean, they're kicking it up a little bit, a bit of a notch. Um, the danger is imminent in this, uh, Kane-Lily situation. I mean, because, who knows? I mean, it sounds like since Cain turned his own father in uh, for whatever dealings he was doing, um, the father seems to want revenge, or maybe he wants to take Cain back to Australia with them and have him back into the their their mob family. Um, and it's 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 definitely becoming more and more of a danger to Lily. And it seems like. I mean, every week they're closing in on the whole Blake lie. So, I don't know. It's, it seems like we're definitely coming to a head um, with the Kane and Lily danger storyline. And I'm kind of looking forward to it. I'm ready to see some, you know, major action. That's why I was so, you know, excited to see Kane's dad, because hopefully now we're going to see some movement on this storyline. I'm looking forward to it. Okay, well, it's time for me to go get another cup of tea. My throat hurts a little bit. I hate the winter. <laughs> it's the worst. Um, but hopefully I'll be feeling better next week. Keep my fingers crossed um, that I'll be able to see you guys live and in person next week. I always enjoy our chats. And even though this isn't exactly the same format as my other <clears throat> vlogs. I hope that you do leave me a comment and let me know what you guys are thinking. It was a pretty good week. There was a lot of action and I can't wait to hear what you think. So um, I'll look forward to reading your perspectives and I will see you guys next week. Have a good week. Bye!